The FirstNet network is long overdue for public safety. So we're in Brookline, the Boston Marathon right now is running through us as we speak. It's a, a long day, a long event. It is absolutely pouring out there right now. Our offices are, are, that are utilizing these, both on police and fire. Uh, the devices are weatherproof, waterproof, drop proof. They are enjoying the new application. It's an easy application to learn and utilize. And they've basically been giving me a lot of good feedback and they're pretty excited about it. I think FirstNet definitely uh, enhanced our communications like we never had before. We're able to use our radio frequency over the FirstNet device. We have talk groups for, for public safety, for fire, over the device as well. So chatter that you don't really need to be over the main frequency over to these other groups. That uh, So the, the channel doesn't say congested and we just basically have the traffic that we need flowing over the main radio. So far, we've, it's been a really good application. Everybody uh, that we've issued to it has taken to it pretty quickly. There's really no big learning curve on it. Simple to use, and uh, we're very happy and appreciative that uh, FirstNet gave us this opportunity to roll this out and uh, use it during the Boston Marathon. During the Boston Marathon bombing in 2013, that was tough. I mean, we had a lot of things going on to the point of where we had to uh, basically stop the race mid-stride. And of course, the pieces that we needed that we're using now for talk groups and basically people to communicate at command staff level, just having their own talk group together was huge because we lost our wireless, so we had no cellular for a while. And for us, if that happened today, we would basically be doing what we're doing now. We'd be able to communicate, uh, communications would not be interrupted. So that basically gives us a very good platform and the ability to do our jobs, do what we have to do to, uh, to handle the situation.